Okay, so the scope of this class, there are a couple projects, right? So the first the first month, actually, four weeks, is the ESP32 CAM project. Uh, it's a computer vision for, for robots. Um, all the code and whatever you, you are supposed to use for this uh, my controller is pretty much provided. The only two tasks that I re really need your um, design is one was not solved last term is whenever they press a button on the on the smartphone it's a push button on the smartphone it's I think it's in in HTML file so push it and then it sent the signal to the antenna antenna receive the signal send send it back to the my controller. And the car just got started really quickly. It's like jittering, you know. I hope there is some kind of mechanism that you can smooth that process. Um, I don't know what you you are supposed to do, but there are so many solutions you can you can consider. It's just a little little you know paragraph of code. If you press the push button, do not start right away, right? You can you can slow it down a little bit. So you need to plug in some code in there. That's the first one. The second one is, I think it is the third one. I think the view of the of the video uh, being streamed from the from the camera uh, is upside down or you know to the side. See here, right? But that problem was already solved by some by seeing Michael Garcia or other people have already posted that code. Yeah, you can definitely refer to that. So it's literally just build a robot and modify the code and made it work, right? And also expects you guys to make a PCB out of it. Um, we don't have PCB over here, but there are some PCB examples from, from last term. So these are the due dates. Um, I have to check these due dates again to make sure they are accurate. Um, I think I should, uh, so the homework one is due next Monday. So you, you are supposed to start working on it today. So I don't want to waste too much time uh, from you guys. I'm going to give you the card, give you the, the my controller and antenna and the first task see it's very interesting this one doesn't have a usb to to program usually there is a usb to serial converters a little black chip you can see on arduinos and esps but this one doesn't have it so i have to use a cable which is called uh, fdti ftdi this cable has a chip inside to convert usb to serial to uart have to make the specific connection. And if you look at the uh, tutorial on the textbook, which is the ESP32 CAM, uh, definitely it's not a textbook for the whole semester, it's just a textbook for the first month, right? As it, there's a large honey version you can buy online, I think it's $20. Um, so this is what's inside the FTTI chip. But you couldn't see it here because everything is enclosed into this uh, box, right? And one thing you have to do is to rotate the little resistor. The reason we want to rotate it, rotate resistor is the external antenna. Um, you know, there are two cases, right? So there's a resistor. So there are three pads, one, two, three. And I believe it's 0603 or even smaller. It's very tiny. So it's just be careful. Um, there are three pads, but only one resistor. You know, it just lets you to make connections or make uh, make choices. If you want to use the external antenna, which is a rod antenna, pretty big, and you have to connect the resistor to these two pads. But originally, it was soldered here from the from the product from the board. Originally, it's using an onboard antenna, which is here. 
but the bandwidth is really low. Uh, it's very difficult to stream any video uh, by using this guy. So we have to, we must uh, rotate it. So it's a time to practice your <laughs> your uh, soldering skill. It's, it's pretty challenging. It's the first time for you guys who you know, deal with this tiny one. And be careful that, so here's a subtree of the antenna, right? This is a connector of the antenna. And the bottom metal here is shorted to ground. And this pin is actually ground, I just found out. So it's because they are shorted internally on metal. So whenever you heat up this pad, the solder material is going to flow to here. You know, you probably start panicking. It's start panicking. And because it's shorted, you see, it's shorted here. You're saying, I couldn't, I couldn't separate it because they are the same metal piece. If you heat it up, the solder is going to stay onto the two pads. You just couldn't separate it. So just don't, don't freak out. It's okay. They, they are the same, same pin. Short it, short it, it's okay. So, and the resistor is just zero ohms. <laughs> Why? Why is that? It's a bridge, but why in the resistor? Why is the resistor but zero ohms? For mass producing this kind of board, they have all the pick and drop robot arms when they are assembling all the parts of the PCB board, like, like this, right? You have to hire someone to bridge your jumping wire to there for you? No, it's just got a zero ohm resistor, just a jumping wire. So the, the robot can pick it up and solder it, assemble it very easily. So for these PCBs, um, if you order assemble service with uh, JLC PCB, it's only a few dollars more. It's very easy. And some of the parts are free because they're so cheap. You know, if you order the PCB and order assemble, just assemble the parts for me, it's not adding too much cost to it. And some of the parts are free. You don't have to order every single one. For example, the resistor is only only 0.1 cent. And it, it, for example, the, the 1K resistor, 0603, you order on DigiKey, right? Uh, every time you, you order like a thousand, <laughs> but you only use two. So in that case, a lot of times you just, just let a JLC PCB to, to assemble that for you. So for, for these 1K resistors are free. You don't even, you know, because they have, they have so many in there, it's just totally free. Okay, so today's task, rotate resistor. I'll give you a USB search to cam, rotate resistor. And just use the code. You're not going to design any, any program over here. Just use the template provided. And you should be able to see the stream the data on your HTML, I guess. Oh, no, where is that one? I think this is on the laptop. Or on the phone, or on the laptop. Okay. See, this is the connection. So you need a power module. Be careful. Um, it's not the, you can use the, the PCB module you fabricated to last term in my controllers. Uh, but you don't have to. I, you can use this one, definitely. Here's a raw, raw antenna. Okay. And the connections. And some soldering today. And some modification to the code. If you directly copy and paste the code from the textbook, it doesn't work really well uh, to make some changes. And then there's even a AI function built into the, to the library. Okay, it can detect the face. And if the face is something it cannot recognize, it's gonna have an intruder alert. Not super accurate. Mm -hmm. But it works sometimes, you know, not very reliable. And then Turn on the light. It's like a flashlight for the camera. It's taking a picture. It flashes. It's very bright. And that's it. That's everything for the first week. Okay. Don't want to waste too much of your time. Um, I would do that as a class. Okay, last semester, you can get in there to working on this. 
before we uh, have to wrap. So this is all the uh, this is all the version of one ticket per guest that we have to spread. And I eventually deliver it 